Hey, uh, my name is Mutwana man. Uh, I'm a regional black man. I'm a caveman, Africa. Okay, uh, let's get started, man. So, uh, uh, we have a question right here. So I'll take, uh, I'll make sure that I explain you the steps, but at a fast pace, so you can understand how to do it. Okay. Now, uh, I can start with an equation, but if somebody say, "Oh, we want you now to go in order." No problem. So the first question, uh, say uh, in a group. Uh, cos 5x. So this is tricky double angle. So in tricky double angle, if I want to uh, substitute cos, I know if you have a cos, uh, cos square of my theta, let's say double, no, 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 wait, 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 cos double theta or double x. This let me say, uh, since I want to get cos, so I'm going to say 2 cos square theta minus 1. But for this case, it's x, so I can just simply say x. Let me say x, and here let's say what? 2x. So since I want to get square with angle, square with angle, I mean this is something like this is what I'm looking for. But if this is 5, this must be 5 here. If this is 5x, this is going to be 10x because it's 2 times that. So let's make a subject of that. So 1 is going to come over, it's going to be cos of 10x plus 1, and then we divide by 2 equal to cos square 5x. So I want to replace that with this. So in a group, but 1 over 2 is going to go to the back, it's going to be 1 over 2, and then replace that one right there's going to be cos of 10x plus 1 dx caveman okay so then what we do now we can integrate separately but hey this could be 1 over 2 when you integrate cos of 10x we give you 1 over 10 sine 10x plus when you integrate 1 dx we're going to give you x and then we plus c so for that being said I can multiply that out and this is going to be 1 over 20 1 over 20 and this will be sine 10x plus now this is going to be x over 2 and the plus c. So we've done another question. Now let's go to question number 2. Question number 2, because you say I must go in order. So I'm trying to go in the right order. The reason why plus c because there's no constant right there. So question number 2, we have that. So if you have that, every time if you have a 1 over quadratic, you have to taste phase and see if the root, if you can either factorize, if you cannot factorize, then you have to complete the square. So how are we going to test factorize? To factorize means the root must be real roots. You don't want complex roots, okay? That's going to be another case for complex integration. Now, if somebody give you that, so we're going to test, we're going to say for root to be real means b squared minus 4ac must be greater than 0. Now, let's test to see if it's going to be greater or less. If it's less means we cannot factorize. Now, what is that a? a, b. b squared means 5 squared. 5 squared equal to? Uh, 25 minus 4 times a, a equal to 1 times c, c equal to 40. So we can see clearly this is going to be less because 25 minus 160 equal to negative 135. And negative 135 is less than 0, not greater than 0. So for that case, you cannot factorize. The only way you can do is by completing the square. So now let's go and complete the square, that number right there. So it's very, very important to test because sometimes a lot of people get confused. They don't know whether they have to factorize or complete in the square. So complete the square is going to be in a group. Now this is going to be x plus uh, 5. Okay, it's going to be 1. Okay, uh, let's factorize. Uh, let's complete the square. That one right here. So, so I'm going to say if we complete the square, uh, this will be x squared is x squared plus okay 5 or oh, oh, 5 5 x, and here we have a positive 4. So now take 5 divided by 2 square, which is going to give you 25 over 4. So here we plus means here we must minus 25 over 4. So this is going to be x plus 5 over 2 by completing the square, perfect square, and then here is going to be plus. Okay, now let's count 4 minus 25 over 4. 25 over 4. Uh, 25 for yeah, okay. This is over 1, this is gonna be 160 minus this is gonna be 25 over 4. This is gonna be minus 135 over 4. 135 over 4. So, for that case, 135 over 4, if you have to put in, in a square root, this same as say, uh, square root 135 over 2 bracket square, which is 135 over 4. So, I'm gonna take that one and plug in here. So, I'm gonna say instead of writing. So 1 over, instead of writing that, I'll write that one, which is going to be x plus 5 over 2 bracket, square plus 135 root, and then over 2 bracket, square. So what we do now, now we can simply uh, turn inverse, this is turn inverse, because if you have an inner proof, 1, 1, and they say uh, a square plus fx square. If there's no root, and it's like that, they say 1 over a, and you can see look like, because this a means this number here, and f of x means this one with the x, and the, it's going to be 1 over a, means you divide by a, and there's a tan inverse, or add tan, is the same thing, tan inverse, add tan, the same thing, f of x over a plus c. So now we're going to do the same thing, so this time we say equal to, 
equal to a 1 over a. What is a a? Because this looks like that. Our a equal to that number here with no square. So these two, because we divide by square root of 135, bottom of divided by 2. So this 2 is going to go to the top. 2 times 1 equal to 2. Excuse me. So say tan, tan inverse. So you can say act tan is a 2. Now we come here, we take out f of x. f of x means x plus 5 x plus 5 in the width over 2, x plus 5 over 2, and then we divide x plus 5 over 2, and then we divide by our, our a, what is our a? Our a is 135 root multiplied by this 2. So this 2 is going to go to the top means you must multiply by 2, let's do it like this. If you want to say 2x and this is going to be 5, so it's going to be 2x plus 5. Because when you multiply that out, it's going to be 2x and this is going to be 2 and 2 cancels, it's going to be 2x plus 5. So the top is going to be 2x plus 5. It's going to be 2x plus 5 over square root of 135, then we plus our constant c. The reason plus constant c because there is no limit, okay? There's no limit. So we're done with this. Now we go for the next question, which is going to be this one right here, okay? Number 3, yeah. I'm done with this. Okay. Me care, man. I'm African. Africa. Okay, let's go, man. Okay, which one should I do? Four or three? Okay, so question number three. Uh, number three. Okay, number three. Okay, so if you have a question like this, oh, here must be square. No, it must be square. So now one over cos is going to be sec. So I can rewrite this question. It's going to be sec square and this is going to be cos 6x and then this is going to be square root of tan square 6x plus 7 but let me put this as a root means i can say square root and then square for some reason i'm going to show you now why do that okay and you have what we have a d dx so for that case now look we have a rule for this so what type of rule is there look if you have this format look because if i take tan of something when you differentiate it's going to be oh why did i say cos here <laughs> just like six x my point because one of my cos equal to sec. Look, if you differentiate tan x, one of tan x is going to give you sec square x. See what I'm saying? It means I can just say this, I can put square out. If you differentiate this, it's going to give you square because this is a number that's going to be zero. So whenever you have this situation where you have something inside when you differentiate, give you whatever you have outside, then we're going to apply this rule. So meaning, if somebody give you in other way, in a row. If somebody's gonna give integral, let's say integral. Somebody give integral. Let's say u dash. Uh, 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 yeah, u dash. And here I can say because I'm trying to write is it? And u because this is u when you differentiate you get u dash. And then you say plus square plus a square. If you have this form, do you? This let me say. Uh, uh, this let me say. Uh, this let me say. Uh, one over two, or you can say u over two. One over two or half u, a half u. And then what you do is say square root, write exactly what you have here. You These are rule, right? Okay, and then after that, uh, what you do is say, if this is plus, see here plus, here is going to be plus at the center. If it's minus here, here is going to be minus. And then we say uh, a square. So we know a square, a square means any number here. a square, and then we over, we over 2. And then what you do, you say long, and then you write your absolute, and write exactly again, u square plus a square and then do not forget a plus you plus only u with no square plus c see what i'm saying so what we're going to do we're going to plug it in we're going to plug this stuff here right so let's plug it in okay and then after that do not forget let me do this do not forget to divide by you see the 6x so this 6x differentiate what you have here which is going to give you 6 for now do not forget that <laughs> see what i'm saying so now we know u we know everything what is that u u equal to 10x what is a a equal to square root of 7 everything we substitute there then we get our final answer so then we're going to say this equal to integral of this equal to that so we're going to simply say equal equal 1 1 so look 6 times 2 equal to 12 6 times 2 equal to 12 so i can say everything divided by 12 on one line so i can simply say oh for this case right but for the most case you have to look at the question what is the pain so for now because this is 6x it's going to be 6 so when you multiply it's going to be 12 you're going to multiply it's going to be 12 so i can say one line over 12 so I don't have to say okay, one line over 12 for this case. So I can say all this stuff is one line over 12. So let's plug it in. So when you plug it in, we're going to say 1 over equal to, uh, say, one, one, 1 times u. What is our u? Our u equal to uh, six, uh, tan 6x. And then root, 
we write our root. U square means times means I can write this exactly time. And the plus plus seven seven. You see what I'm saying? Okay, the word plus plus a square. What is that a square? What is plus because this is plus. A square means this one here, uh, a, what is it? When you square it's gonna be seven. And then we say long, long, and then we have a root. Don't forget absolute, absolute. Now we write exactly tan, tan. Ah, uh, six x, right? Six x. Yeah, please. So okay. We plus a square, which equal to seven. And then we say plus u. What is that? U. Are you equal to tan six x? Okay. We close our absolute. We plus our c. The reason why? Because we don't have a limit. Do not forget to divide by twelve. Let me see if my camera recording. Oh yes, it does record. You don't, don't forget to divide by twelve. So we're done with that question. We'll go to the next question. So the next question is going to be the similar approach, which is this one here. So I'm not going to raise this formula. What I'll do is say, well, we know a lot of things here, but it's not going to be 12 now. I'll show you how. And the sign here is going to change. I'll tell you why the sign changed. Because this question looked the same. It looked the same. So this is 4 means it's the same as a 2 square. 4 means 2 square, right like that. You understand what I'm saying? And another thing, since this is minus, it's, going to be pl it's not going to be plus, it's going to be minus. And another thing, this is 3x. 3x means this is going to be over. Look. This will be u over 2 at face. Let's try. Let's not write like this. And this will be a over 2. And then all of them divide by 3 because 3x, so divide by 3. So now, 3 times 2 equal to 6, 3 times 2 equal to 6. Means I can say divide for both of them, divide by, by 6, okay? So I can say all of them divide by 6. So, okay, well, I can just leave it like that. So we say this equal to u. What is that u for this case? u equal to tan 3x. And don't forget, this must be squared there. My apologies. So this is going to be tan 3x over 2, over 2. Uh, but we all know, because this and this 6 and this 6, so I don't have to write 2. I can say, oh, oh, okay. Okay, space here, okay. Let's say all of this is divided by 6. Equals 6, 6, okay? Now we say then, uh, it's not visible there, my apology. Um, okay, let's write it like this. So I can say this is 666. So I can simply write, I want to make a space here. So it's going to be 6. Let's write one line over 6. And it's minus. We know why? Because it's minus. So we're going to say this same is same. Okay, u, what is that u? u equal to tan, th tan 3x, u tan 3x with no square, right? And the square root, we write exactly, which is going to be tan square. Okay, minus, minus, okay? Uh, a square means 2 square root 4. Okay, minus, minus, okay? Now you say a square, a square equal to, it's got four, four, and then long, long, absolute, absolute, square root, square root, exactly right, tan, square, three x, and then minus four, minus four, and then we plus, we plus u, what is that u? Our u equal to tan three x with no square, because you see u. Close your bracket, I mean your absolute, plus c, what we plus c? Because it's absolute, and we know it's over six for some reason, like I explained. So. We done that question. Do you have another? Oh, we have question number five. Let's go to question number five quick and get it done. Okay, question number six. Here we go, man. Here we go, man. Here we go, man. Question number six. So that one is easy because I'm going to say face this. I'll take it back to double angle of trigger. Cave me in a cave way. Okay? In a cave way. In a caveman way. Like original African. Okay. So we're going to say, well, uh, let's say me say, uh, should I apply this right away? You want to see how we get it? Oh, let me show you how we get it. But I can do this right away. For me, no. So we're going to cause double angle equal to uh, cos square angle minus sine square angle but i need that see so this look like the square something square something if it's four means here i'm going to say four theta if this four theta this must be four theta and this is going to be eight now twice of this eight theta but remember i don't need cos means i can say one minus cos is like one minus sine my my but remember one minus square excuse me Square what? Square four. 
this and this is going to give us 1 minus 2 sine square 4 theta cos 8 theta equal to. So now my intention, I want to get this. So I must make something. This is going to go to the right. It's going to be 2 positive sine 2 4 theta equal to 1, 1 minus cos 8 theta divided by 2 divided by 2. This is this cancel. So we get that. So I can kind of replace that one and say, okay, so this is going to be in a group. Instead of writing that, I can write this. 1 of 2 is going to go to the back. And here I'm going to have a 1 minus cos 8 theta d theta. So what happened then? We know how to go from there. We know how to play from there. So this is going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 2. And then when you integrate, 1 d theta is going to give you theta minus minus. And then it's going to be 1 over differentiate 8 theta is going to give you equal to 8. And then this is going to give you sine, sine 8 theta. And then you plus constant. You can multiply that out. And this is going to be equal to 1 theta, and then multiply this going to be 1 over 16. 1 over 16 sine 8 theta plus constant. The reason plus constant because there's no limit. I'm a original man, black man, African, a caveman. So that being said, follow me on Instagram, uh, Twana underscore Waban to the same name which you see here. Share this video to a lot of people for that being said. I'll see you soon. Do let me know. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Okay? And for that, be safe. Peace and love. I'll see you soon. I'm out.